I'm Mike Hanawald, field agronomist with VEX Hybrids, and wanted to share some information today about a product we've been testing for several years and has recently earned the PFR proven status, and that's Zyway fungicide. Now, Zyway is a little bit different than most fungicides we use. Traditionally, fungicides are either seed applied as a seed treatment or they're applied as a foliar treatment uh, to corner beans. But Zyway is applied off to the side of the seed at planting time. So we actually applied it with our two by two by two system, both sides of the row, two inches over and two inches below the surface. And uh, when you apply it that way, Zyway is persistent in the soil and systemic in the plant. So by persistent in the soil, I mean that it's not going to leach away or wash away over time. It's going to stay put where it's, where it's at. It binds to the soil and is fairly stable. But then as the roots grow out and get into that two by two by two band, um, the roots will then begin taking that active ingredient up and then Flutriophol, the active ingredient in, in Zyway, is very systemic in the plant, meaning that it will move throughout the entire plant. And so Zyway actually gives you protection from top to bottom of that plant for at least the early portion of the growing season. Now we've been testing Zyway for three years, and as I mentioned, it's PFR proven, and so it has gained us yield every year. In fact, 100% of our trials, Zyway has increased yield, on average about eight bushels. 85% of the time that we've tested it, it has gained enough yield to pay for itself and be profitable, on average profiting about $28 an acre, as you can see on your screen. Now, Zyway has a rate range that you can apply, and we found that the 10 and a half ounce rate, which is the lower rate, has actually been slightly more profitable than the full rate of 15.2 ounces. When you look at those two bars, the first bar versus the fourth bar on the graph that's on your screen. But now when you compare the first and second bar, this tells the story about how long of protection we get from Zyway. While Zyway by itself is profitable, averaging that $28 an acre, when we add a second pass of Veltima fungicide at R1, at tasseling, um, you find that we significantly improve our profitability, even with the extra cost of that, that fungicide pass. And so it's still important, even with Zyway, giving you that early season protection and potentially even delaying foliar disease, such as gray leaf spot, northern corn leaf blight, or tar spot, you still need to scout your fields and make a second foliar application of fungicide if it's necessary. Now, where are we seeing the best fit for Zyway? I think that story is best told when we evaluate how Zyway has performed over the years. So on your screen, you're seeing our results broken down into each of the three years that we tested Zyway. Um, in 2022, 2023, and 2024. And you see that in 2022 was when we had our biggest gains from Zyway. Now, if we look at that year individually and we break down each individual site, you'll see there that our Ohio data was exceptionally profitable. That year we made $65 an acre after we paid for the cost of the Zyway. Compare that to Minnesota where we only made about $6 an acre. A big difference. Well, why is that? Well, the map you're looking at right now is the departure from normal precipitation for the month of May. So this is the amount of rain above or below normal. Now, we know in Ohio we tend to get a lot of rain in the month of May, much to our frustration as farmers. Um, but that particular year in 2022, if you look at the red star over London, Ohio, behind that red star, there's blue coloring. And according to that map, that means that they had between three and four and a half inches of rain above and beyond normal rainfall for the month of May. Compare that to Minnesota, and at the Minnesota site, they had an inch and a half less rainfall than normal. On top of that, there's major differences in soil types. Minnesota is your typical prairie soil of the Midwest, high organic matter and a loamy soil. In Ohio, we've got heavy clays, and there's a lot of heavy clay soils in, in the state of Ohio. And even with the good drainage that we have at our London site, um, that, that poor drainage and, and that heavy clay can lay wet for a long period of time. And so that's where we're seeing the best results from Zyway because um, those heavy clay soils that, are, that can tend to lay wet for an extended period are more prone to crown rot. And the picture you're seeing on your screen are plants that we dug from that 2022 trial at, at our London PFR site. And you see the plant on the left has a nice clear crown, that yellow to cream color, very healthy looking. That was treated with Zyway. The plant, the plant on the right in the red circle has a crown that shows um, some brown discoloration and um, that crown rot setting in. And that crown rot impairs that plant by damaging that tissue. And that tissue is so important because that's the main highway that water and nutrients move into the plant through. And so that crown rot disease can cripple that plant for the entire growing season. And so that early season disease protection is where we've seen our best results from Zyway. And that's gonna be on your wet, wet natured clay soils 
is where uh, we're going to see those best results and where we would recommend um, trying Zyway. Now, as our PFR team has been testing Zyway, there are some other management considerations that they have recommended. And it mainly centers around the fact that Zyway may not stay in solution with the fertilizer for a long period of time. And so because of that, it's important to think about how you're using it. So first of all, the best case scenario is to add it to the planter tank using an inductor. So you get the most consistent, the even mix. But if you pre-mix it in a nurse tank, that's okay. Just make sure that you fully agitate that nurse tank before you fill the planter. The other thing is to think about what you do when you park your planter. So ideally, you want to leave those tanks low or near empty when you park the planter overnight so that in the morning you can fill before you start planting and that will agitate the solution and make sure that the Zyway is fully mixed. And then the last recommendation is to consider just closing your valves below the tank uh, when you park the planter so that if the Zyway settles out it doesn't settle down into your lines and cause a very high rate of Zyway to be applied when you first start planting the next day. So those are just some things to think about that we've learned along the way using this product. If you have any questions about this or any other um, topic uh, related to agronomy or PFR, feel free to reach out to myself or your local BEX representative and we'd be happy to help.